Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Sadad Payment Gateway and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the admin can configure the module uh, backend configuration settings and after that we'll be showing you uh, the front-end workflow and we'll be showing you how the customers can make the payment using the Sadad Payment Gateway uh, within the Magento web, to web store. So uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this uh, extension works so uh, let's go to the admin backend panel first and let's see what different configuration settings are there in the admin backend panel so I've already logged into the admin backend panel and uh, i'll be navigating through extensions then uh, payments and here on the payments page uh, i'll just navigate to the sadat payment gateway so here we have the sadat payment and uh, just click on the edit button to bring up the configuration settings for this extension here so uh, now uh, under the sadat payment uh, module settings we have a number of options here and uh, we'll be going through each of these options one by one so uh, so the very first option that we have is the merchant email address and here the admin needs to enter the pay tabs registered email address so when so when you've created your merchant account at pay tabs the email address that you have used for the creation of that merchant account you need to enter that email address here within this section after that we have the secret key now after you have created your account and you have uh, uh, verified your email address you will be able to get your secret key now that secret key needs to be added here within this section after that we have the option total now within the section uh, you need to enter uh, the numeric value so uh, you have to enter the checkout total that must be reached before the payment method becomes active at the checkout page so enter the the amount that must be reached before the payment methods method becomes active so this option is for that after that we have the order status so here uh, you can set the default order status that would be set after completing an order using the sadat payment method so depending upon your requirement you can select any of the uh, uh, default order status that would be uh, like uh, set after completed completing an order using the sadat payment method after that we have the geo zone now here you can set the availability of this method for all the zones or for uh, or your uh, custom created zones so you can uh, select all zones otherwise you can also create your own zones and uh, provide this payment method to the selected zones only after that we have the status so uh, here you can set the status of this extension as enabled or disabled enabling will display it out at the checkout page and if you have selected it disabled then the method won't be able available at the checkout page and lastly we have the sort order so uh, you can set the sequence of this payment method as per your requirement so uh, you need to set in the sequence in which the payment gateway will be visible to the at the checkout page for the customers so that was it and after making all these settings you just need to save the uh, configuration settings by clicking the save button so uh, that was much about the configuration settings of this extension within the admin backend panel so now uh, we'll be going to the uh, front end and we'll be showing you how the customer would be able to make a payment using the open card sada payment gateway so for that i'll be taking you to the uh, web store front end first now here i am at the uh, web store front end and please remember that uh, it only supports this extension only supports the saudi arabian real so you need to select that currency before proceeding uh, with your payment there now now i'll be adding a product into the cart and i'll be making it check out and so i have this sada payment module itself and i'll be adding it to the uh, Card and here you can see that we have uh, the cost of 375 Saudi Arabic Rials and I'll be clicking on the checkout button to complete this checkout so uh, a registered as well I guess user can make use of this uh, the only thing is that the customer should be having 
an account with the Sadar payment gateway. So uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll uh, be using the guest checkout for now. So I'll be entering the name and I'll be moving forward after that. I'll be setting up the email address. I'll be setting the telephone number. The address, the city, the postal code, country and the state. I'll click the continue button thereafter. Oh, we already have the selected flat rate shipping for this order. So I'll just click the continue button. And here on the, under the payment methods, you can see the Sadat payment method. So uh, we'll check the terms and conditions first and after that we'll click the continue button to proceed further. After that on the confirm order section we have a section where you need to enter the Sadat account ID. So you need to enter your Sadat account ID and click the confirm order thereafter. And after this you'll be redirected to the Sada account check and here you need to enter your Sada account ID and the Sada account password for completing this transaction. So I'll enter my Sada account password and I'll be clicking the proceed button thereafter. And here you can see the payment amount is 393.75 Saudi Riyal. And uh, we have the transaction ID as well. So you need to uh, select your second level authentication. And you can select a one time password method as well. And you need to enter your SMS code that you will receive on your registered mobile number. So I'll be entering that up. And after that, I'll be clicking the submit button to complete this transaction and after that I'll be having this transaction summary as you can see and the status is success here you can see that the transaction amount is 393.75 so the real we have the merchant and the merchant reference with the transaction ID as well after that we'll be redirected once again to our own uh, web store where we had placed this order and thereafter the customer can also see uh, uh, the details of the order within his email as well and after logging into his account panel as well so uh, this is the email that the customer re received after making the payments at the pay tabs and this is the normal order detail uh, page that you receive having the details of the payment as well and the payment method used so uh, that was much about the uh, open guard sadat payment module and hope it helped you out if you have any queries or questions related to this uh, extension then uh, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead